The name is Weiss, Karen Weiss. I am the colorist of the Carolinas, as it was coined for me years ago when I owned a gallery in Charleston, South Carolina. You can see I love the color. I try to bring color as much as I can into my work. My work is uh, primarily palette knife, a lot of brushes that are unique, and a lot, other, a lot of other materials. I am looking for the ambience of a place. That's the mood or feeling of a particular place, the character and atmosphere of a place. I want to capture the idea or the essence of it, not completely the reality of it. I developed a program that is a unique art performance program, and it's called Illusion of Ambience. And I, I like to be in front of audiences demonstrating. I came from realism, and I'm going into the abstract more and more as I get older, and as I get wiser, and as I get more interested in the performance of the paint. I am moved by travel, I'm moved by interiors, and just being free to be abandoned with the paint. Just let it flow, let it do what it wants to do. Each painting is an outcome that has no attachment. And it's basically abandoning fears. And when you show in galleries, it's really fun to be able to move the clientele with different work every year. Every year that I have an opportunity to show in a gallery, I challenge myself and I develop less and less fear of having any kind of mistakes or any kind of problem solving. It just, it just naturally flows. In my studio, you can see a lot of what I'm doing that goes into galleries, or maybe it's a commission. Sometimes I start with a blank slate. Other times people tell me what they would like to see in their home. I love that. I love working with things that uh, the client has in mind, like a TV a panel screen. And often I get to make friends with these people and we have this marvelous outcome of designing the painting together. A friendship develops. And often I get to display their pieces in their home before they come into their home. I often install it for them. And that's fun too, to see where it goes and where it lives. Each painting is like a child going off to school. This year I was able to have a, a great opportunity to be juried into the Booth Museum American Women Artists Show. I completely abandoned the notion of realism for that show and it was accepted, my abstract. And I know that it's one of the few that's in the show because people really are drawn to the reality of a place, but hopefully in my work, people do find that essence of place. I want my students, because I do teach, not think of the limits, but think of the possibilities. What can come out of that paint? I'm often reminded where I came from in Charleston at the Gibbs Museum when I saw my very first painting that moved me. I think I was around 16 when I saw uh, Elizabeth O'Neill Verner and um, Alice Hugie Ravenel Smith. And then Whistler, he moved me. I was able to see his painting 30 years later. And then Turner, he moves me. I love seeing wonderful work in museums. Lately I was able to study a Clifford Still whose saturated paintings have this line quality of just a few simple colors uh, above the floating saturated paint. I try to make my work as ethereal as I can or textural as I can. I do have those commonalities in my work but often I just gravitate to shapes and color and abandon the the real idea of of something and just go with a with with a paint sometimes it's a 
very colorful piece. Sometimes it's color floating over a white space, and that's fun too. Lately, I've been uh, exploring many mediums with the uh, Royal Talons Company. The Royal Talons Company makes Rembrandt and Cobra water mixable oils, and I use those primarily. They are a Dutch company, and they started in 1899, and now their products are just marvelous. They're so buttery and creamy, and I tend to bring those to my classes for my students to enjoy the Royal Talons products. The water-soluble mixable Cobras are amazing because you can use them with the Rembrandts that they make and you can create a whole painting with just the water mixables of the Cobra and abandon the principles of mineral spirits and use water. It's just amazing. My tools are vast and many times I start a painting with just marks, and the marks lead to the paint that goes over it. And they become transparent, and then it allows me to put the fat paint on top with uh, the palette knife, which is, I love the palette knife. And it's, it's just so freeing to be able to glide it over the paint and see what happens and develop rich texture over the transparency. My students love learning about it. We have much freedom in our classes, and often I get asked to do performance demos. So art, art is freeing. I don't have the fears I used to have as a child. I just go for it. It's awarded me. It's rewarded me. So many different kinds of ways to enjoy my life as an artist. And I welcome you to try your hand at freedom of paint and opportunities and create your own illusion of ambience.